We are live at Banneker High School, and you're watching Twin Sports TV. And it's our live, uncut, unscripted segment where the cameras roll and anything goes. We're here with somebody special, and we about to get it in hey, with a whole, whole lot of basketball. basketball. Hey, we got him. He's the man, the man with the plan, and we're going to talk to him for a second. <laughs> Can you tell our viewers your name and where you're from? Sharif Abdurrahim. Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, all right, all right here, it. hometown. Damn. I love all it. All right. So you were a former player of the Atlanta Hawks. How important is it for you to give back to these kids in the community? Well, it's, it's something that makes sense um, to me. I'm the product of a lot of people giving to me and spending time with me. Uh, so the opportunity to be able to continue to do that in Atlanta and the communities that I grew up in is um, important to me. Hey, hey, all I right. I love it. All right. all right, you have your foundation, the future foundation. What's the core mission of that foundation, and how does it impact the kids today? Our, our mission is to bridge the gap for young people um, and resources and, and availability of options and opportunities that they may not have in, in their communities and their schools. Uh, so that's what we look to do. Um, this is our 17th year of working oh, wow. with young people. Uh, we work with over 15,000 families throughout the city, um, throughout our, our foundation. Um, and, and this year is our third annual Keep It 100 luncheon, celebrating the accomplishments and all the work of our young people. Hey. Wow. And that was leading into my next question. What are some of the key um, events that you guys host throughout the year? So, uh, you know, obviously on a, on a daily basis we have our you know, programs, after school programs, and all the work that we do with the young people. But again, um, next Wednesday, March 21st, we have our Keep It 100 luncheon. And that's an opportunity, again, just for us to celebrate the young people. Their accomplishments uh, is tagged behind our 100% graduation rate. Um, and also celebrating 99% of our young people that we work with going on to some form of higher education. So we're extremely proud of them, want to continue to support them. Um, and, you know, everyone that's a part of this mission with us. Hey, oh, I, I love that. So what led you into starting a foundation in general? Well, again, just identifying a way. I think growing up, I'm a product of a lot of people taking time with me. Um, when I think back, uh, all of that was somewhere around athletics. Um, and not every kid is going to play sports. Not every kid is going to um, have the passion for basketball that I did. But we all need to um, be well-rounded. We all need to... Um, do well in school. We all need those other um, interpersonal skills that I think we try to provide with the Future Foundation. Right. right. And I, I have a question too. With all the distractions and temptations that young people have to go through this day, how important do you think youth sports are to communities? Well, very, very important. I, I think of myself, um, just the time that I have with coaches, with teammates, um, the commitment to wanting to be good. You know, I understood at an early age in order to do that, there was a lot of uh, distractions and things away from the field that I couldn't engage in. So um, it's a great way at a young age to keep young people occupied and keep them focused. Right about that. All I right. love it. So can you tell our viewers, how long did you play in the NBA? What was that journey like getting yeah. there? Well, the, the journey was a lot of work. Um, I don't know that you, at the time, you have a passion for something, you enjoy doing it, that you, you know, look at it as work, but it, you know, it was a lot of enjoyment and just doing something that I love to do. I think the making it is a dream come true. You know, so playing in the NBA, played for 12 seasons, um, three seasons here with the Hawks, got an opportunity to play in front of my family and friends. Um, so that was memorable. Uh, but overall, just great experience, great people that I uh, had the opportunity to, to, to meet and build relationships with, continue to work around the game, work with the NBA, um, has also been rewarding. So just continue to find ways to give back. Hey, I love it. it. I love it. And how tall are you? Right, because you're really tall. We might got to get a ladder to finish this. I know. I hear you. Six foot nine. Six, Six foot nine. Oh, my gosh. That's tall. Right. So what advice can you give some of the young ballers who's trying to take their game to the next level? Well, nothing nothing um, outlasts work. You know, if you want to be good at something, you have to work at it. You have to uh, be committed. You have to be organized. Um, and you have to be authentic. You, know, you have to find your your way of doing it is, is great. We all have our favorite players that we want to emulate, but you also have to find your own um, space. All right. So are there any kids in your program that are aspiring to be basketball players? Uh, I'm sure it's a, it's a few, but we're more, <laughs> our focus has been, you know, math and science. Academic and, side. And, and reading. So we want to 
you know, let the coach, the coach can coach them. We want to make sure we're um, giving them the support they need, you know, everywhere else. I love it. I love it. That is so important. We commend you. Uh, we respect you for doing that and giving back to the community. But our slogan on Twin Sports TV is, is get your game up. Now, what do you do to stay on top of your game? Well, I think, you know, in, in that, you know, your game evolves, right? So okay. you got to keep whatever that game is. So if it's... Um, if it's in the classroom, it's on the court. Um, if it's in the office, you got to keep getting better. You got to keep working. I think it's the same. The same principles that we learn in sports: competing, working hard, working with others, are the same principles that carry us, you know, throughout our, our right. daily From life. From the NBA to the foundation, what's next for Sheree? Well, currently, I'm vice president of basketball operations at the NBA. Wow. That's the league office, so you know, we're responsible for pretty much all of the things you see out on the floor, the rules, uh, compliance, um, all the um, technology on the court. That's that's our group that oversees that. Uh, so continue to, as, as you say, get, getting your game up. Continue, hey. Right? So continue to get your game up and um, evolve and work and, you know, find different ways to contribute. Right. Awesome. Because because I think the young people yeah, need to see that. Thing. It's not all about balling on the court, right. but there's other things, there's other avenues you can get in to still be a part of sports. Right. And Absolutely. I think it's wonderful. It is. It's exciting. So can you look in the camera and tell everybody, say, get your game up. Get your game up. All right. Woo! That was the executive voice. Right. Get, get your game, game up. up. I hey. love it. Twin Sports TV, get your game up.